Welcome to my new video. In this video, I am going to show you the interesting places to visit in Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen is the capital of Denmark, a unique city, characterized by its canals, cycling culture, strong economy, and happy locals. As a traveler or tourist, I know you've been looking forward to visiting interesting places in a city like this, you don't have to worry, keep anticipating. And don't forget to keep your eyes glued to your screen, because I've compiled a list of interesting places that will blow your mind within a few minutes. Number 1. Nyhaven. The dynamic water's edge of Nyhaven is one of the most famous of all Copenhagen destinations. Nyhaven implies a new harbour in English, and this is the place where you'll observe a clamouring waterfront region tracing all the way back to the 17th century. This region has amazing features that can be used as background photos, which will satisfy anybody wanting to make their companions desirous on their social media feed. If you have enough time, get a few beverages and a few snacks and partake and enjoy a picnic the water's edge. Number 2. Enjoy the entertainment at Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens is the second ancient amusement park on the planet and the fifth most visited amusement park in Europe. Thousands of people flock to Denmark's capital city just to visit Tivoli Gardens, making it probably the best spot to visit in Copenhagen. This exceptional amusement park is located right in the city centre, just a short walk away from City Hall Square. The amusement park provides fun for all ages, with roller coaster rides, wonderfully manicured gardens, and regular music and theatre exhibitions on request. Number 3. See the crown jewels at Rosenberg Castle. Rosenberg Castle is a Dutch Renaissance-style royal residence constructed in 1606 by Christian IV, a Danish ruler with the longest reign in all of Scandinavia. The interiors of this luxurious castle have scarcely changed in hundreds of years and feature noteworthy woven artworks charting the conflicts between Denmark and Sweden. In the Palace Exhibition Hall, you'll observe shows including the royal collections of the castle. The most significant are the crown jewels, the royal celebration seat, and the Danish crown regalia. Number 4. Christiansburg Palace. This is a vital structure you shouldn't miss in Denmark. This castle functions both as a royal residence and an administrative building, as it is home to both the Danish government and royal reception rooms used by the Danish government. What makes it wonderful is that it is the main structure on the planet that houses all three branches of a country's administration which are the executive power, the legislative power, and the judicial power. Number 5. Get amazing views at the Church of Our Saviour. If you want the best of views in Copenhagen, you'll find them at the Church of Our Saviour. The 17th century Baroque-style church is generally renowned for its helix tower that contains an external winding staircase. Number 6. Step back in time at the National Museum of Denmark. Copenhagen's National Museum contains a remarkable wealth of artifacts from all periods of Denmark's past. It's a fascination in which you could lose yourself for quite a long time without realizing it. If you have an interest in Norse mythology, or are inquisitive with regards to the methods of the Vikings, or just love discovering forgotten treasures, then the National Museum could end up being one of your favorite spots to visit in Copenhagen. Number 7. Check out the stars at the Rundetan. The Rundetan, otherwise called the Round Tower, is a 17th-century public galactic observatory that has been a component of Copenhagen's horizon starting around 1642. It's the most established working observatory in Europe and quite possibly the most interesting thing to find in Copenhagen. The Round Tower is part of the Trinitatis complex, which joins a church, library, and observatory into a solitary structure. The pinnacle doesn't have a lift, so to get to the top you'll have to climb the winding, whitewashed twisting walk. Number 8. Take a stroll down Langelini and see the Little Mermaid statue. Langelini is a long promenade in focal Copenhagen offering astonishing perspectives on the harbour and coastline. The promenade's most renowned feature is the undeniable Little Mermaid statue. The bronze model is a symbol of the city, 
and isn't to be missed while hiking Copenhagen. The Little Mermaid was made in 1913 by stone worker Edvard Eriksson as recognition for creator Hans Christian Andersen. The sculpture is smaller than most people expect, yet that doesn't detract from its excellence and importance to the city. Number 9. Admire Islamic Art at the David Collection The David Collection is a museum of fine and applied art, built around the private collections of lawyer, businessman, and art collector C. L. David. This man donated both the building and collection of artworks, including one of the largest collections of Islamic art in Scandinavia. The museum also includes exhibits of Danish modern art, paintings from the 19th century Danish Golden Age, and European art in the 18th century. Number 10. Explore the ancient art of the Mediterranean at NY Carlsberg Glyptotech. Don't allow the name to trick you folks, this exhibition hall doesn't have anything to do with Carlsberg Brew. Rather, it is an exhibition hall of artistic work. It is loaded up with antique models from the old societies encompassing the Mediterranean Sea, to be specific Egypt, Rome, and Greece. There are also more current models, including a collection of August Rodin's works. The artworks in plain view at the exhibition hall are comparably essential, with French Impressionist works by Monet and Renoir being displayed, and post-Impressionist works from Van Gogh and Bornard. Number 11, Christiania. In 1971, the free town of Christiania was established when a housing shortage in Copenhagen prompted people to relocate to a deserted military barracks. The commune has a distinct counterculture atmosphere and continues to thrive as an alternative society. There are loads of street art and funky dwellings to see in the area. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope it gave you a lot of value. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below your thoughts, give this a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more valuable content.